Hi Fluffy Fluffs, Kitsu here with another B2R tutorial. So if you've been following me for a while, you might know that I stream drawings, 3D modeling, B-Roy modeling, and I pretty much learned a lot of B-Roy during my streams. I am not sure if many even know that you can actually import clothes easily to your B-Roy model. I am aware many go to a booth to purchase clothes, and some might come with instructions on how to import the clothes by giving you a PNG. But there's an easier, simple way to do this, with less time consuming trying to figure out how to get the clothing right. In this tutorial, we will be using my Zelda model. You can go to my Kofi page by clicking the link in the description below and download the clothes and the hair files. You got all the files now? Alright, then let's begin. Alright. So we're going to use b Studio. So open up b Studio and you can select your own um, b model if you like. But for this tutorial, we'll be using the Avatar Sample B, which is the girl with the purple hair. All right. And we got our model here. So we have our girl model and you're going to go to outfit. And um, as you can see, I deleted the Zelda dress on here. So I deleted all the Zelda items to show you guys how it works. And um, we can guys just go to import. And I'll have to find my files in here. All right, there we go. So we want uh, Zelda's dress. So that'll be this file here. Open it up and wait for it to load. All right import successfully so the dress was imported successful and you can wear it later or wear it now we are going to wear it now and i can't imagine um, anybody trying to do this manually by using pngs because this is actually a bunch of dresses together and just <laughs> one dress here so yeah this dress is a combination of like five dresses i believe or like one two three four five yeah five clothes inside this just one dress <laughs> so yeah i wouldn't want you guys to actually struggle with a png image and try to basically get this results here but yeah you can still edit the skirt so edit however you like in there and you can see there's a white spot in there so you can try to play with these settings to try to fix that but right here is the waist i'm just going to increase the waist a little bit and there it is problem fixed all right and uh, for this menu right here it's only for the whole entire dress so if you want to edit more of the clothes within the dress you gotta click edit texture all right and you can see right here the textures to the left side you can see that uh, there's more than one texture and there's this little square with two lines and two dots. You can actually click this right here and the menu to your right will actually change and you can start changing these to your liking. So I can just, you know, change the skirt flare. So the little items right here are moving. So it's up to you. If you want to edit this uh, to your liking, if you want to make it like a little different or fit your character a little bit differently. So yeah, there's that option to do just that. All right, and we still got a few more clothing to actually import for the Zelda model. So we still got some more Zelda clothes. We're gonna import the boots. So it doesn't matter where you actually um, import this. The software will actually know exactly where it goes. So we you can see we were on dress and now it went to boots. So import successfully. We can wear it now. And you can see she's now wearing the boots. The boots are now being worn by the Avatar girl. The B-Roy girl. <laughs> Alright, and next we're going to import the arm braces. Open them up. And just wait for it to import. And wear them now. And there it is. The braces are now being worn. So, yeah. Everything is pretty much already done for you really quickly. And if anything looks wrong, you can edit the clothing on the right side settings. All right. And the same can be said for the hair. 
so we can go to hairstyle and we're going to import the crown which i created using hair so you can go to the front costume and you can see i got the cell the hair in there so you can do the same thing with the hair as well but i do not have the crown so we're gonna um import that in so import and search for the crown here we go triforce earrings crown select that and open it up and it actually yep there it is it's actually in extras and there's the crown so we're gonna wear it now and you can see she is now wearing the crown so um you can see that the crown is a little too big for her so you can still do some edits we're gonna go to edit hairstyle and click the back of the crown so everything i created here is saved and you'll go to the selection tool resize select that okay it's odd it's really odd that it's down there it shouldn't be down there but still do these edits so I'm not sure why for me it's at the bottom okay now it's at the top that's weird <laughs> so we can just edit it make it fit on her head there we go just like that go back to this um, oh there we go that was weird just edit it like that and there we go the crown now fix her and then you can just click X and you can override it if you wish or save as a new item so yeah it's gonna close without saving because I'm not really gonna use this model to, um, so yeah you can just save it and now that you got everything ready you can actually export the model by clicking up here so you can now export the model and the hairs on the crown which will be the Triforce earrings she'll be moving around just like regular hair so everything should already be done everything that I did for like the hair she already had the bones ready for the movements and everything that I added in there so you don't really have to do any changes unless you really wish to do so but um yeah that's basically all you have to do you can finally export your BRM model and say that you are cosplaying Zelda <laughs> from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate or Link Between Worlds. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. So, how was the tutorial? Was it helpful to know this simple way to get clothes and hair on your B-Ray model? Let me know in the comments below if it was useful. I do hope to create and learn more about B-Ray and more about B-Tubing as well. So I hope you all had fun learning this. Thank you for watching my VTuber tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, you can help me stand out in the algorithm by giving it a like and subscribe. Share with others, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care, Fluffy Fluffs. See you later. Now, how do I get my clothes back on and not use um, this?